The lessons to be learned from flight MH370 are that we need to uh, not have the ability to simply switch off a transponder and not know where an aircraft is at. If you allow the switch off of the transponder, there needs to be an automatic backup. And that that is not that expensive. And from everyone I've been talking to over the last two weeks, they say that, that uh, that's the nearest term, cheapest way of sorting it out. Lesson number two, we need to move towards a global air traffic control service space-based when I say that that's satellite supported that covers the entire globe including the poles so this system this service is coming um, it's called Arion next year they're going to start launching them they're going to launch then every four months to make sure that we have this network of satellites that are going to be able to see exactly where every aircraft is in the world but full rollout of that is still a few years away there are some creative things that can be done right now. A lot of airlines are bringing on board their aircraft broadband connectivity systems to support passenger connectivity, not cockpit comms. They're using these big pipes, big connectivity pipes, to support passenger connectivity. Those big pipes haven't been approved for what's called safety services. But the conversations are now headed in the direction of, well, but even though they're not approved, is there any way we could use this pipe creatively to be able to transmit critical information to the ground, essentially piggyback off of the broadband pipe that is now supporting connectivity to passengers. There is also the question question of could you stream black box data. And um, in the wake of Air France 447 in 2009, that was a very, very big conversation. A lot of people talked about that. Um, the reality is that it's very costly to stream black box data in real time. Now, there are some providers that are suggesting that you don't need to stream in, in real time. You don't need to stream uh, in entirety. You could have bursts of data coming from the flight uh, you know, data recorder. So, you know, it's not cheap um, to do some of the things we're talking about here, but again, that is is why uh, some industry players are saying, well, we're already bringing these kind of big broadband pipes to passenger connectivity, and airlines are subsidizing uh, that service for passengers. So airlines are already taking a hit to bring us broadband in flight. Well, why not figure out some creative ways to use that pipe um, to stream some data that could be very useful in this type of a situation?